Hi, welcome to Team Wool Sheep Reviews. Been a bit of a gap, but what I want to do today is talk to you about Depron. What is Depron? Well, Depron is a, a foam board. It's a foam board that's manufactured primarily to go under laminate flooring. So it's an insulator, it's um, a noise dampener, but you can buy reasonable size boards and it's basically a sheet material. Uh, very light, this is weighs absolutely nothing. You can cut it, sand it, you can bend it. There's a technique to bend in it. For example, if you wanted to bend this into a curve, if you try to bend it, it'd snap because it's quite a dense board and the tension you put on it will cause a crack at the top. Now to eliminate that, you would totally cover it with packing tape or masking tape and this will hold the surface tension and then as you bend it, it will wrinkle if you like on the inside. So instead of it cracking, it'll hold firm and it would actually allow it to bend and then you can manipulate it and work it. The more you bend it, the more flexible it gets. So this can be used like balsa wood. So if you think of balsa wood, it's very light, but it's very fibrous. There's no fibers in this. So it can bend either direction. You can manipulate it. Now, basically what you need to do is if you are using three mil balsa, then you'd use six mil Depron. So whatever the balsa uh, requirement, then you use double in Depron. And that's a simple rule. So three mil balsa, six mil Depron. Simple as that, you can use your balsa plans and get building. So it is good stuff, it's easy to cut. You can use your, your normal box cutter, scalpel blade, and it cuts very easily. You can finish it off, you can get, get a sandpaper on it and finish it off in exactly the same way as you can with balsa. So what have I done with this? So I'll show you a little slideshow of the layout of, of the Vulcan. From that little slideshow, you'll be able to see how I cut out the sections, how I created my very first Vulcan. Right, as you can see from the uh, slideshow, uh, all the ribs, all the spars, everything cut out. What I did do is reinforce the main structural spar that was running horizontally across the wing. And I basically laminated it with a little bit of my Venetian blind spares. I'm looking up there because that's where they live. Um, yeah, so I laminated it to give it a bit more strength. We also put uh, carbon fiber in there, a carbon fiber spar. To stiffen it up. So here is my very first Vulcan. There's a wooden spar running through the center and this was to give it a, a spine. So everything was sort of built around that. The only thing is it adds a lot of weight. I put a plastic plate on there so you could grip grip it to, to hand launch it. There's the center gravity. Now when we first flew this it was trial and error of whether or not this center of gravity was correct and the first flight after spending hours making it it went nose first flipped over went uh, rolled back nose first into the ground and it was oh no but it was wrap it up with masking tape throw it again we'll add some more weight and basically we did that until we got the center of gravity in the right place so i've got the measurements for that and I shall give you them. The best reading really is to go from the, that trailing edge there and take the reading forward and that gives us a centre gravity. Now to do that we had to ha add a lot of nose weight which is underneath there and I've got quite a bit of weight. Now when I built this it originally had the, the nose cone everything um, constructed out of Depron. Now after I had the impact, I decided to to look into another way because it was quite difficult to get that and make it look nice. So as you can see, this is a uh, plastic, and this is when I prepared earlier. 
Right, as you can see, that one is uh, set up for FPV. And just in case I decided to take the FPV off, I made a second one. And all this is, is a water bottle. And, or a soda water, I think it was. So, and basically what I've done, I've cut the top off, because obviously that was the, the top. And cut it to the right length. And painted with the same colour paint as I painted that, which was a primer and painted the inside so I get this nice white plastic finish. Then I constructed out of the same plastic this little canopy and glued it or glued it into place and and there you have it. So it, it, it looks quite neat and slides on so no fancy work. Now that was a, an improvement that I did to make life a little bit easier but what that gave me is the ability to change the type of battery that I've got in there. Now, originally we set them up for a 2200 3S battery. The only thing is I was only getting four or five minute flight time, which is not very good for a plane. So it was using a lot of power. So basically what I've done now, I've enlarged that battery capacity and results in taking up the nose weight. So keeping the same center of gravity, but using battery weight instead of artificial weight. So that made a massive difference. Because I was quite pleased and it was very successful, what we did then is I spoke to a couple of colleagues who was also interested and I said, look, if I, if I make a couple, then I'm happy to sell them at cost. So I bought the Depron, got everything ready, bought all the materials and then I started cutting. And I trimmed and filed and sanded and I got myself in hell of a mess. But basically I cut, cut out four. It took blinking ages. ages to because every time you use you you who pour what you'll find is that it's a contact adhesive and it works best as a contact adhesive so it needs to dry in fresh air if you plaster it with uh, you who pour and stick them together because it can't dry it produces a chemical reaction which will actually melt the Depron so you don't put liquid you who pour with Depron what you need to do is you coat the surface it will almost vulcanize to the surface and let it dry when you stick it together there is a little bit of movement initially and it can be a bit flexible but once it goes off it goes off and that is solid that is not coming apart unless you cut it so it does dry slightly flexible so it's a good bonding agent for Depron highly recommended the other alternative is hot glue but hot glue can be a bit messy stringy and sticks to everything but it also sticks well so what I did for the critical parts on the surface areas I used the contact adhesive for all the little fiddly spars and things like that I used hot glue uh, this was one of the four as you can see I've, I've taped the leading edge but it's starting to peel away so that needs to be removed but this was the uh, one of the four as you can see I've gone with the Depron on the front and it wasn't until after when I broke the nose comb I, I went through and made the, the cone. This one is nice and neat. I've veneered it inside with, with the wood to give me some extra extra strength. You can see I've got carb, carbon or they actually fiberglass bars in this one to give the, a little bit of structural support so if it taps the nose on the landing it doesn't crack and make a mess. It, uh, it, comes, it, it just gives it that extra stability. On the underside, as you can see, I've got the holes and the holes are there for your finger grips to hand launch it. But what I did with this one, instead of putting a spine all the way up and creating lots of weight, I used a, a, a short spine there to give me some structural support and something to attach the nose cone onto as well. I put a, a, a wing skid inset into there. So this basically is a balsa, a balsa strip that's been taped and with um, glass fibre tape to give it some reinforcement and a plastic plate then to basically stop your fingers from poking holes in the Depron and uh, like I said it is a very light material uh, I can give you I'll give you a, a weight so the Vulcan was um, 1029 grams so I don't know whether you want to work that out 
but it's 1029 grams so it's a kilogram in weight uh, the original Vulcan the first one I did was 1350 grams the Elevons because the Elevons are quite big all right I've used pinned hinges and I don't know if you see this, see them but I've used pinned hinges to give me a better aileron uh, control and inside there because this is two um, six mil layers of Depron I've put um, a spar in there and then obviously I've added these pieces in there these little plastic inserts to give me a better control horn connection so so I hope you liked this video and uh, you found it informative the if you go to my web page which is called Depron Designs on Depron Designs you can download the plans um, they originally came from a gentleman in Norway I believe who who found the plans and made them publicly available so the plans are there you can download them you can use them it's an, a nice design and get creative get modifying them build yourself an EDF one there is no plans for the EDF one it's so please check out Depron Designs and go and build yourself a Vulcan and you won't be sorry because once you start you will want to build more I got three I have built four six in total Ramarones have killed two himself uh, and I have the I have the the mark one I have my mark two and I've got the EDF version and I love them it, it, to see something you've created flying is spectacular is it will blow your mind that concludes the video so all I got to say is go buy some Depron and build one you will not be sorry you will love it I love it why not subscribe you can see the button below if you subscribe you can get keep up to date with all my latest videos these videos are not monetized I do this as an informative media and besides I like making these movies so thank you very much hope you enjoy subscribe and see you again soon bye <laughs>